Kids Zone Online. It's our second week of Amaze. I'm Gabrielle. I'm Jarrett. Hey, do you want to make some cookies with me? Yeah, I love some cookies right now. Great, they're my favorite food. Sweet. Let's do it. All right, so do you have a recipe or what? Oh, no, I just figured we'd like put all our favorite things or things we wanted in it. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, these are all things I like, so. Great, let's I'd see what happens. Yeah. Here we cool. go. Well, of course, we gotta start out with the base. Yeah, Which obviously. is, you know, flour to give it some flour structure there. Flour, for sure. Mm -hmm. And we need some more substance in here, so maybe mm -hmm. some chips. <laughs> I like barbecue sauce on, like, almost everything, so it's gonna go good in here, for sure. Ooh, hoo, hoo. looking good already. Oh, yeah. who doesn't like, like, some mm. green apple. It's fall. That's kind of fallish. Oh yeah. Let's see what we get here. I'm gonna just Plus, move this guy for a second. One of my favorite soda pops. Oh yeah. <laughs> Put in there. Look mm. at that bright green color. Mm. Yep. And uh, I don't think you could go wrong with some mini marshmallows. I feel like these marshmallows taste just like Lucky Charms. And uh, I'm a spice guy. I enjoy yes. myself some kick. <laughs> in my food, so we're gonna add some hot sauce, of course. Okay, looking good. Oh wait, we almost forgot. Oh, I put that in there. You put this in there? Oh, oh yeah, great. Oh, I put okay, that cool. in there. You wanna... I wouldn't forget this, this is you something can. I really want. You wanna mix it up and then we'll taste that dough? Yeah. Okay, real quick mix, it doesn't need significantly a lot. Oh, there we go, Oh yeah, looking I can, great. It, looks, it looks like it, it's coming together. All right, taste it, Jarrett, let Let's me know what you it. think. These serve as like chips. Oh, 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 oh. no. Mm -mm. It's oh, terrible. No. You need to try it though. Oh, ha. oh. <clears throat> mm, not well, good. Something something really went wrong there. I think that's so bad. It might explode if we cook it. We probably should have followed a recipe and like put the things that you're supposed to put in cookies. Yeah. And that kind of reminds me, today. We're gonna be learning about how God tells us exactly what we need when yeah. and gives it to us when we need it. Yeah. And that's probably what we should have done here. So you can put everything you want in there, but there's a difference between what you want and what you need. Exactly. I think we learned that pretty yeah. definitely there. Yeah. But that actually reminds me uh, of our question about wanting things. So turn, turn and talk. Um, to your neighbor about what you really want for your birthday. Cool. Like I really want a water slide. Mm -hmm. And I really want a real live tiger. It's your turn, 10 seconds. Oh hi there you little chicken nuggets. It's me Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Carl TV. There you are, and there you go. Oh, hey kids. I'm so glad you can make it. I've had a crazy busy week. I'm trying to do something that's super difficult. I'm trying to get organized. You see, getting organized is a very mature and big kid thing to do. I feel like my life is kind of crazy and I gotta get a hold of it. But the more I try to get a hold of it, the more it feels like I'm just trying to hold on to a slimy, shaking fish. So I figured if I started to plan out my life, started making choices for my future, it would be better. Like for example, this is my bucket list journal. Inside are all the things I want to do before I go to heaven. Go skydiving. Fly a kite on the Eiffel Tower. Wear a face mask of Chick-fil-A sauce. Dropkick something. Find out what pepper spray feels like. Brush a shark's tooth. Eat a gallon of mayonnaise at a rodeo. Play rock, paper, scissors with a grizzly bear. And hold a conference call. That's just a few. And this right here, this is my life plan journal. Everything I'm ever gonna do in my life is in here. I planned it all out. That way, there's no surprises. I get to do what I want. It's perfect. Carl. TJ, it's great to see you, man. <laughs> Whoa, look at you. 
Look like you got a clean desk for a change, huh? Yes, sir. I've got everything in place. It's all clean, and the rest of my life is planned out. The rest of your life? <laughs> oh, okay. That's right. The whole enchilada. Every day, from here on out. Wow. All right. So I guess you definitely know what's best for your life, huh? Of course. Who better make those decisions and know what's best for me <laughs> than me? So why don't you share with me a little bit of the plan you have laid out so far for the rest of your life? I thought you'd never ask. At age 25, I'm going to be a millionaire. That's a given. I'll invest hundreds of dollars into genetic research so that I can become part human and part stingray. At age 30, I'll move to Ireland and become a professional pizza eater. At age 35, I'll buy a boat and devote 10 years to mapping out the ocean and trying to figure out Loch Ness Monster. After I turn 45, I'll spend the rest of my life living on the beach, catching fish, yelling at birds. <laughs> That's a perfect life. Wow. That, that's something, Carl. I know. It feels good knowing things will go my way. Sure. What's wrong? Well, I just know that there are times when we don't know what's best for our lives because, to be honest, things change. I don't know if that's true. I'd probably need a Bible story to back it up, possibly change my mind. Well, you're in luck. Let's take a look at uh, 1 Kings 18. Well, alrighty then. So last week we were talking about Elijah, and this week we'll be talking about... SpongeBob? No, Elijah. Elijah. We'll be talking about Elijah. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> duh, I knew that. So Elijah was hiding for almost three years. God told him to go back out and talk to King Ahab, who didn't like Elijah very much. Because now Ahab and his people have been worshiping other gods besides the one true God. Well, that's not good. No, it sure wasn't. So after a while, they went out to a place called Mount Carmel. Elijah asked the people why they were worshiping all these other different gods, especially the one called Baal. Then Elijah issued a challenge. Oh, I love challenges. The people who followed Baal would have a bull to sacrifice and Elijah would get a bull to sacrifice as well. They would put the bull on the altar and the one that was completely burnt up by fire from heaven would prove that their God was the real God. Wow, things are starting to heat up. <laughs> Good one. So the people of Baal went first. They spent hours and hours trying to get their God to send fire from heaven, but nothing worked. So that means their plan and their God didn't work. Huh. You're absolutely right. So after all that effort and no fire, they finally gave up. Then it was Elijah's turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. First, Elijah made them soak the bull in water. Water? That's not going to help it burn it up. Nope. But Elijah was trying to make a point. Elijah knew that God was powerful enough to set something on fire that was soaking wet. So after they put the water on the bull, Elijah said a simple prayer. And then guess what happened? Fire? Fire. Fire came from heaven and burnt up the bull, burnt up the water, burnt up the wood, even burnt up the rocks. What? That's crazy. I bet all the people of Baal didn't have that plan. They sure didn't. You see, Carl, the people of Baal made their own plans, lived how they saw fit, and did what they wanted to do. But we are called to listen to God and trust God in every circumstance. Wow. I guess I never thought about it like that. It's amazing God knows what's best for me. Hey, 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 that's our big idea. <gasps> Today's big idea is, it's amazing. God knows what's best for me. So on the count of three, we will say it out loud. You ready, Carl? Ready? One, two, three. It's, it's amazing. amazing. God, God knows, knows what's, what's best, best for me. me. Woohoo! <laughs> God Good job. Good job, man. All right. Good job, everyone. So TJ, I guess I can throw these all out, huh? You don't have to do that. Just as long as you trust and listen to God first. I guess you're right. Question, TJ. Do you think God would want me to do this? Which one is that, man? Well, what's my goal this year? Hug a porcupine. Yeah, I'd probably pass on that one. <laughs> you're probably right. I'll go catch one. Wait, Carl. No, don't. I... <sighs> all right, kids. 
Listen, we'll see y'all next week. See you next time. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Wow, great story. Mm -hmm. It was really cool that God gave Elijah exactly what he needed by bringing the fire down the pool. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of our memory verse. The Lord gives us what we need through his Bible. So I think we should uh, check it out. Go grab your Bibles if you don't have it. We've got ours. And open up to Deuteronomy, which is in the Old Testament, chapter 7. And we're going to read the second half of verse 21. It says, The Lord your God who is among you is a great and awesome God. Ooh, I love that verse. If you remember that verse, if you memorize that verse and send a video of you to saying the verse to KidZone at newheights.org, you have a chance to win Amazing Maisie's box of tricks at the end of this month. Mm. Isn't that cool? I think we should pray. I think so too. Let me do that for us. God, thank you so much that you um, are just wiser than we are and you know exactly what we need when we need it. And if we lean on you, then you will give us what we need in every situation. Amen. Amen. Wow, that story was incredible. I love hearing about all the amazing things that God does for us and being reminded that he always knows what's best for us. Hey, do you guys want to see a cool trick that I have? I have this special box that I put a five of hearts in, like one of those playing cards. And before you know it, the box chews up the card. See, five of hearts all broken up like this. It's a pretty cool trick, huh? But if you want to know the secret, it's not actually that cool of a trick. This box just has a divider in the middle, so there's actually two cards. One is all ripped up and one's whole, and when I move the card box like this, it just flips from which side to the other side. So it's not actually that cool of a trick, unlike all those really cool miracles that we read about in the Bible, like when God sent fire down for Elijah. That is a really incredible miracle, and that was real. Watch the darkness slip away Put your power on display Say goodbye to fear and shame
Wow, that was an awesome story. It's so cool how God knows exactly what we need and when we need it. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of a cookie recipe, which tells you all the things to put in a cookie so that your cookies turn out actually good. Actually good. Not terrible like the ones before. Yeah, I think. We're really yucky. Yeah. I think we might need to try this whole cookie recipe making thing again. What do you think? Yes, but the right way. The right way, with the recipe. Okay. So, I think we need to do a third cup of flour. Great. I got the butter. You got the butter. Boom. It's an egg for you. Flour. And a quarter cup of sugar. Nope. There it is, butter. Just a splash of vanilla. Mm -hmm. Oop. Little Perfect. scooperoonie of uh, baking soda. Not to be confused with baking powder. No, that would mess up the recipe, which we're not doing. Also not to be confused with soda pop soda. This is a different kind of soda. Sprinkles of salt, which I'm not really sure why cookies have salt in them, in them but they do. It brings out the, the flavors, actually. Oh! It's a very fancy. complex technique, but it works. We'll do the okay. chocolate chips last. Okay, we'll I already vanilla did the vanilla already. Great. So I'll let you smush that egg in there. Ooh. And I'll add some chocolate chips. Okay, now it's gotta be uh, stirred up. Stirred up, just like the recipe says. Oh well, yeah, stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. Woo. Looking way better this time than oh, it yeah. did last time. All right, that looks great. You ready? I'm almost ready. And now I'm ready. Let's, Shall we taste it? Let's taste it and see. Oh, hopefully it's better, because last time was bad. I don't know if it could be much worse. Yeah, true. I gotta get a chocolate chip at my taste. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mwah. Perfection. So much better. So good. Let's take it to the oven. You ready? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. To the oven. To the oven!